Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Arm With Knowledge review. In our comments, our viewers, you, and you, that's you. You guys left us some comments saying that you wanted us to do a review on the Mantis system. So we wanna give you guys what you want. Here it is. This is the Mantis X10 Elite. Let's get started. All right, now <clears throat> we did run into Mantis at SHOT Show. So I did get a chance to run a couple of their systems before and I was thoroughly impressed. But <clears throat> starting out here, we are gonna do an unboxing and we'll show you from the ground up as much as I can, how the system works, pros and cons and everything uh, that you would experience. Now, when I, I put in the order for this, I got an email right away. There's a couple of videos that they send you before, you, before this even shows up on how the system works and uh, what you can expect from it. All right, so here's a quick start guide. All right, this is a pretty cool case here. All right, so let's see some rubber spacers, some tools, and a little piece of a Picatinny route. Looks like you can put on your AR. And then, what's this here? There's another mount. So this is a rail mount. It looks like you can put it on a barrel, like a shotgun or a rifle. That must be what these spacers are for here. And then this is, this is the, the, the piece itself. This is the part that monitors what you're doing and, and gives you back your feedback, it looks like right here. I did download the app already. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll mount this. We'll show you mounting this onto one of the handguns and, and getting this started. All right, so when you first open up the Mantis app on your phone, it's gonna have you go through, you're gonna click okay on a um, privacy policy statement, then it's gonna have you sign up with your account. After that, it's gonna show you how to connect the device to your phone. Then you have a introduction course. We'll let you guys go through that on your own, but we will go ahead and get started and show you how this connects on a handgun. So if you're using the bottom rail of your handgun, there's a little lever on the Mantis X piece right here. This lever, hold this lever down, slide the tapered end towards the trigger guard and it should lock into place just like that. And if you just press this button on the X10 piece itself, there's a green light that comes on. Click connect on the app now. We're gonna go ahead and do a open training. So we'll click open training. Now, you want us to know if it's a dry fire or live fire, we'll leave it dry, right-handed or left-handed and right-handed. And if it's if the device is forward or backward. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. All right, we're gonna take five shots. All right, so we got five shots. Now, it's gonna show you some red lines around the center circle here. From, from what I've gathered so far, the thicker the line, the more of, of a movement it was off, off the center. So what I'm assuming is when we get a chance to do live fire, we're gonna see very similar results on paper from our center mark. What's very cool about this is for, especially for new shooters, if you're having issues where you have consistently shot stacking up in one direction or another, you can click on which direction that is coming out of the circle and it'll, it'll show you some advice on maybe what you're doing. If it's, if it's torn towards the bottom, it'll say pushing forward and it'll give you some advice on how to correct that. Now, once you get done looking at that, you swipe it to the left. This little graph on the top here, it's really just showing you what your, what score they gave you for each one. And uh, the bottom one is a little bit more interesting. This is how much movement you had. The blue uh, color is your hold movement. Your hold movement is when you settled on your target right before you press the trigger. 
And then your trigger press movement is obviously what's happening while you're pressing your trigger. You get a much better look at that when you swipe again. And there's these trace views here. So when you look at the first shot was 88.9 in score. You can zoom in on it. It's, it's not easy. That's one thing that I would like to see maybe adjusted on this app is um, zooming in and out on the trace view is, is not easy to do. But the blue line shows you what's happening as I was holding on to the target. The yellow line shows you my trigger press. And that little red line is actually your, your follow through, what happens after the trigger press. So during the live fire, I'm assuming there's a much bigger movement on that one. And then this one's a 97.4. And you can see the difference between one and four, how far outside that center circle it came off the target with the, with the yellow line, the trigger press. And all throughout, in the difference of the scores, at 83, I was way off. And then at the 93, I was back pretty close in the center. These lines, it looks like a lot, but you're not, you don't beat yourself up so bad on how much movement's going on within these first two circles because this thing is, is monitoring every tiny little bit of movement that you have. So although it looks like a ton of movement, it's actually not as bad as what it looks like. Obviously, unless you zoom way out and it looks like that. So I also don't know when you swipe over one more time, I'm not really sure what is happening on this page and I haven't been able to find anything on, on what's going on here on this last page. It's just, I don't know what this is. It starts off on this, this average page. You can go back to each shot and score. And what you can do is when you click on each one separately, it'll take you right to that one. And you go back and you can start over. Now, the next exercise we're going to go through is a draw from the draw from the holster exercise. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have a holster that allows for a light that's on your on your gun, then this isn't going to work to draw from the holster with the Mantis system attached to your gun in your holster. Mantis sells what's called Magrail. They sell floor plates to match most guns. You repl you buy that floor plate it has a rail system on the on their floor plate. You replace your floor plate on one of your magazines with it. And that way you can mount the Mantis system to your magazine. And it's supposed to have the same amount of activity monitored as it does when it's when it's attached to the front of the gun itself. So we got three different ones for three different guns. We're gonna switch out those floor plates and run it that way. It's also necessary if you're trying to run a handgun that doesn't have that rail, you're gonna to wanna to get one of their Magro floor plates for that specific gun that you have. All right, so we're using this holster. It's not set up for a light. So we're gonna use the floor plate from Mantis. Set up the X10 on this. Magazine floor plate. Point it forward. The green light come on. All right, so now it's looking for the app. We'll connect it to the app. All right, so calibrating. So it's me to set it down, leave it flat. All right, so we'll click on holster draw analysis. Dry fire, right-handed, and it's forward. Okay, looks like it's getting ready. Stand by. So take, we took these five shots, this first page, it tells you five different things about your draw fire. It tells you how long it took you from the buzzer to get to your, to the grip from one. Then the next thing is pull. So from your grip to when you started pulling horizontal is from that pull to being horizontal on target 
target and shot from what I'm getting from this so far target and shot are the same as when we did our last exercise your hold and, and trigger press this doesn't tell you anything except for how much time it took you to do each thing it starts with the average for each average grip average pull all the way up and then your your entire time at the very top average and then it goes through each and every shot and as you just saw on accident if you click on one it'll take you directly to that shot which one it is now this trace view is a lot different what i've gathered so far again we're having I'm zooming in on this thing to look at it in one second. You're looking at the same colors that you were looking at in the last page, but you're looking at them in the movement that you were making. Excuse me. So the, the dark green is getting to your grip. I'm not sure. Or so it's missing the dark green. It's just, no, it's not. It's got dark green on there. So I'm not sure what kind of movement that is on the grip, what it's showing you there, because it doesn't show you much. On, on each and every one of these. Zooming in, if I can zoom in on here. So you see there's a movement on your on your getting to the grip, the time from the buzzer to getting on the grip. I'm not sure what that squiggly line would be, it, that space in between there. Um, after that, your grip to pulling, that's some up and down squiggly line. I'm, I'm not sure, I have to look into this some more because that's not quite making sense to me. As of right now with the information that we have on hand, I'm not getting a lot from this so far. But from here, um, we're gonna go ahead and run this for the next week. Like I said, we'll try to get some live fire exercises, have some other people involved with us on this so you guys can have some other opinions other than just mine. And uh, just come on with us. At first I was skeptical with the Mantis X10 because, I don't know, I've been shooting a while. After seeing the results of it translate on the paper onto the app itself, I was very impressed because I could literally feel myself doing what it was telling me I was doing. When we mounted it on the magazine well, it was a different recoil registry than when we mounted it onto the rail system as well. But that's the only discrepancy, it's a very good device. I do feel like this is something that I can use a lot because I can just snap it onto anything at home and do some dry fire drills on the couch while I'm messing around. And I actually have something that I can track instead of just aimlessly doing dry fire drills. I can track what I'm doing. I didn't like the honesty of uh, what it was showing me in my shooting. <laughs> So what have we learned, boys and girls? The Mantis X10 Elite. This thing is very easy to use. It gives you a ton of information. And that information is extremely useful in your progress as a shooter. Now, some of the things we saw with, with other devices that we used, some, some at-home training device that we used, uh, laser cartridge devices, you have to have a different cartridge for different calibers that you have. Now, if you have just the same, all nine mils that you plan on using, then that works. Then you have your the target that you have to set up with your phone a certain way, and can it be kind of cumbersome. Now, with the Mantis X10, if you're using multiple handguns or, or multiple devices that don't have that rail, then you have to buy floor plates, you have to buy other things in order to make it work from one gun to the next. But one of the most impressive things that I've seen from the Mantis X10 Elite, the information that it gives you and all the drills that are available to you to put that information to work. Whether you're doing timed or not timed benchmark, you're doing your compressed surprise break, which is where you're already lined up on the target, the buzzer goes off, trigger press. Already lined up on the target, buzzer goes off, trigger press. It's one of the best ways to get your trigger press down with the speed of, of especially with your draw fire exercises. You can work on your, your secondary and keep track of, of how well you're doing from your secondary to your primary. 
there's three different kinds of reload drills. You can do your, your in battery, out of battery, tactical reload drills. And then you're, you're doing cadence, a hostage, which is very simple, but it's, it's just a, like a timed exercise on target from the low ready, high ready. And then you have different goals that, that you can set your phone to bother you about. Like five days in a row, take 20 shots. And it'll remind you, okay, you didn't take your 20 shots today. Add it on to that. There's an option to add friends and create groups to where you can keep each other accountable with these drills or with these goals. Some of the stuff that we saw negative, uh, some cons to this, the one that consistently bothered me was zooming in on the, the trace view, especially when it comes to your draw fire exercises, being able to zoom in on, on what you're seeing and, and moving around because it, it, it you know moves across. On you know benchmark or open drill, open training, you're just you're zooming into the center and out mostly with your draw fire being able to to be look closer at the bottom to where you're at the top of your draw that that was a huge pain but honestly it didn't stop me from using the device it didn't stop me from getting the information i wanted it just took me a little longer but everything else as i said it, it translated on the paper almost flawlessly if you look at these pictures you can see where we did a full magazine and somewhat rapid fire through the magazine to see what the pattern looked like on the, the app itself. And it's exactly the same thing as what we were seeing on paper. I was extremely impressed with that. I was able to communicate with a couple different members of the Mantis team, and we got some answers to a couple of our questions. The first one being that page after trace view, when you swipe the trace view left one, you have that blank page there and we weren't really sure what it was for. That is actually, if you hold steady on any target, you can see a live trace view and see how much you're actually moving when you're trying to hold stable. Another question that we had was, with the holster draw analysis, on that trace view page, there was the lines kind of were consistent, but we weren't really sure what they meant or what they were actually tracing. When we got the email back about the draw fire trace view, it was explained as if you were standing behind the shooter. That's what the line is showing you. So if you're seeing any inconsistencies in your pattern, or if you're seeing where you might be taking up the most time on the page before that, you can see where that is and where to maybe make your adjustments and, and line yourself up. The last question that we had was about the inconsistency we were having with recoil registration on the range. As Brooks stated earlier, there was an inconsistency whether it, the device itself was mounted on the integral rail of the gun or it was mounted on the, the floor plate, the mag rail that we bought from Mantis. What we were seeing was there was a slight drop in the right before the rise of the recoil. So when Mantis responded to us, they suggested that maybe the, the mag rail, the floor plate, might have been loose on the magazine, or maybe the magazine was moving inside the mag rail itself. And any type of, the slightest bit of movement, as we said before, the device monitors so much, the tiniest little movement, that if there was anything loose in there, that could explain what we were seeing. So we went back to the range. We noticed that the, the, there was a slight movement from the magazine in the magazine well. So what we did was we took a little bit of tape and we added a layer, another layer, until it was still seating properly and, and functioning correctly while not moving inside the magazine well. We ran everything again and that discrepancy, we, we weren't seeing that anymore. Everything seemed to be consistent across the board from that point on. This device really came through for us. It's nothing that stopped us from getting the information that we were hoping to get. Actually, we got more than we were hoping to get. So with the Mantis X10 Elite, I would say we definitely recommend this to our viewers. I am thoroughly impressed. A little bit of problems that we mentioned, they don't stop you from being able to use this device, use the system and get all the information that was designed for you. I'm looking forward to using this system and I'm excited to try some of their other devices as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them down below. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and as always, run your drills, not your mouth.